Right guys, Gaft is back with the explanation to any card at any number envelope. Magic with Tom. Alright kid, Magic with Tom says it can't be the envelope. Gaffer, you showed us both sides of the envelope. Yes, I did Tom, didn't I? But you know me kid, I'm going to show you what's the crack. This is the crack. It's got a card on the back. King of Diamonds is hiding underneath this bottom of the envelope gaff. Obviously there are a couple of magnets inside this envelope just to come with a bit of sellotape. I did actually buy this envelope. I bought, when I'm out and about, if I see anything I think I might be able to use at some point I'll buy it and I bought these little envelopes and it works great for this. So literally I've got a couple of magnets Salitaped in the envelope. And this piece of white card is actually another white envelope, so it's the same colour. Get that round the right way, so it will stick on the bottom. Basically, it's a, any regular card, a couple of magnets, and then another card, and then this paper over the top. So this is two cards thick, plus this layer of paper. It's just so it's the same colour. You do see a ridge around it. But I didn't show you the back until I'd removed this, but you could quick glance, I guess, in the right lighting and stuff. I've also got a King of Diamonds from a different colored deck, which will go into the envelope. I've then got my King of Diamonds hiding underneath this card on the back of the envelope. So you're going to start the trick with this attached to the back. Now the magnets are quite strong so you can quite pick this up quite freely. And then your deck of cards. Obviously that King of Diamonds underneath the gimmick is from this deck. You don't want to have two King of Diamonds in this packet. So what I would do, I've never showed this trick. I came up with this yesterday. Bit of an idea, put it together quickly last night. Seems to work. I'm sure it'll work in the real world, but I have not tried it on anybody. But I would get the spectator to shuffle the cards when I show it to them. And they can even look at the face of the cards just to make sure they're all regular. It's all just a mixed up deck. And when you're done shuffling, hand me the cards back. So they will hand you the cards back. And now I'm going to pick up my envelope, place it on top of the deck, but I'm going to steal that gimmick off straight away. Show them. There is a card inside and this, by stealing the gimmick off straight away, I can show them the back of the envelope. And I made a point of saying you cannot see through the envelope just so that I could show you guys the back of the envelope. And all I'm going to do then is push that card back in, reattach the gimmick and put the envelope down. Um, I'm then going to give them the option. I could just riffle through or just pick a card. But it seems a little bit more natural to say, give me any number, because if they were going to say call out stop here, usually you show them the card, don't you? Or if they're going to take a card out, don't look at it, just leave it on top. That does seem a little bit dodgy. But counting, let's say we count to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It doesn't look suspicious that I haven't turned this card over yet. I haven't displaced it. It's just there. So now I'm going to show them my prediction. So I'll pick up my envelope again, place it on top. I'm going to steal the gimmick off whilst pulling out this one card. Place that down, I can show them the envelope. And then I'm going to place down what they think is the card they counted to. But in fact, that is the king because this is now the gimmick. Then I will reveal it to be a perfect match. Now they can't examine the envelope because they will see two magnets in there, but you could easily get another piece of card and cover those magnets. So we'll just quickly run through that again, just so it gives me uh, a few more watch minutes on the video. Happy birthday to King OK. Nice one, brother. All your bits and bobs have come, fantastic. And Nick Z's birthday's coming up apparently. So happy birthday, Nick Z. 21 again, eh kid? So you've got your deck, which is shuffled. 
you've got your gimmick attached to the back with the card hiding underneath you're going to say I've just got a card in here you're going to steal off the gimmick it's here now show them you've got a card inside the envelope you can see look you can't see through it put it back on push this in you're going to steal the gimmick back away they're going to give you any number let's say this is the number what are the chances the card you freely stopped on match the card in the envelope? That would be crazy. Steal the gimmick away again whilst pulling out this card and reveal it to be the King of Diamonds. And the card they freely stopped on was in fact the King of Diamonds. I suspect you could put this card back in here, steal that gimmick away, put this in your pocket and then carry on with another trick because you would actually have a clean deck now. The gimmick would be stuck on the back of here again, and away you go. I mean, in this light, you can see the outline of it, but I think if you were holding it a certain way, you could probably give it a quick glimpse like this. Somebody might not notice. Depends on the lighting, obviously. But that's all I did, guys. It's just mess about. A couple of magnets, a little bit of time, and some glue. So happy birthday everybody whose birthdays are coming up. Appreciate all your support guys. Uh, make sure notification is active. Tell all your friends, get me subs up. I need to get to a thousand subscribers. Get my um, live stream back up. And we'll see you tomorrow for another card trick. So comment, subscribe, like guys. Cheers.